Let's take our usual lambda interpreter and change the treatment of environments from data type oriented to object oriented. Right now environments are lists and that means our operation on environment deals with the empty and cons case. The only operation on environments is lookup and that is an operation that takes an environment and a symbol and returns a value. So we don't have to add the environment argument because that's going to be implicit in every environment object. But we take the other argument, that is the symbol, and then we return the same thing as the, the lookup operation, now representing it as a method. Empty env should be a constructor of environments, or actually it should be just an environment. It's an environment, so it needs to be a function that takes a symbol and returns a value. What happens when you look up a symbol s in the empty environment? It doesn't actually return a value. Uh, it actually says free variable, always raises an error. So that's what we do here. We make an error complaining from lookup that it's a free variable. And now extend if that one is a constructor, that makes an environment, but it makes an environment given a binding b and an existing environment. And extend m extends that to produce a new environment. Since it's going to be an environment, that means it's a function that takes a symbol and returns a value. Now in this case, we can compare the symbol to the symbol in the binding b. So if those are the same, then we have found the value that we're looking for. It's the value in the binding. If it's not the same, then we need to look up s in the environment. And so we used to write look up m s here. But we don't have lookup as a function anymore. It is a method on this object env, and we call that method just by calling the environment as a function. So that is going to be our extend env um, constructor that creates an extended environment. And with those pieces, we no longer need the lookup function to do a dispatch on empty and cons, because that's not how environments are implemented anymore. Instead, environments are implemented as objects that take a symbol. So we'll keep the lookup function just as a convenience to the rest of the interpreter, but the way it's implemented now is by calling the uh, environment as an object. And if we run our interpreter on all of its tests, then we find that they still all pass.